dear friends, this is Bahrama Saili and I'm here as an English teacher. I'm going to tell you a good story. So let's listen to the story. Mike gets a new job and moves from his small town to Boston. He likes the job and he likes his new apartment. He likes Boston. There is only one problem. He doesn't meet many new people. This weekend, Mike's sister Carrie is visiting her brother. Do you have many new friends here? She asks him. Not many, Mike says. I'm worried about you, Carrie says. You're always worried about me, Mike says. On Saturday morning, they go out. Let's go into town, Mike says. There's a bus stop near here. But Carrie sees a sign in a window. Was it Rosie, the fortune teller? No, she says. Let's go in there. Mike isn't happy about this. He doesn't believe in fortune tellers. But Carrie says... Please, Mike, I love fortune tellers. Wait, Carrie. But she is going into the house and Mike can't stop her. He goes in after her. A woman is sitting at a table in a small room. This is Rosie, the fortune teller. Who is first? The woman asks. I am. Carrie says, the two women go into a room at the back of the house. Mike sits and waits. After some time, Carrie comes back with a big smile on her face. Now you go, she says to her brother. Mike isn't very happy about this, but he goes into the back room. It is very dark. Rosie smiles and puts some cards on the table in front of her. She looks at them for a long time. She isn't smiling now. What's the problem? Mike asks. It is not a good day for you today, she says. Mike doesn't like this. Why not? He asks. I can see a black cat, a yellow dog, and a white bird. Be very careful. On the street, Carrie asks Mike about the fortune teller, a cat, a dog, and a bird. She asks, are you worried? No, I don't believe it. Mike says, fortune tellers are always wrong. But Carrie isn't listening to him. Mike, she says, look at that. There is a cat near them. A black cat. Remember Rose's warning, Carrie says. Let's go across the street quick. I am not worried about the little black cat, Mike says. But he walks across the road with Carrie. There, a man is washing a cafe window with a bucket of water. Suddenly, the bucket falls. All of the water in, it falls, too, on Mike. I'm sorry, the man says. Remember the fortune teller's warning. Carrie says quietly. Her eyes are big. Look at the name on the sign. The Black Cat Cafe. I do not believe in fortune tellers, Mike says. But look at me. Let's go home. But then Carrie says, No, Mike. Look. Mike looks and sees a big dog. A big yellow dog. It is running at him. Mike can't believe his eyes. Oh, no, he thinks. Is the fortune teller's warning right? But the dog doesn't stop. It runs past him. There is a big smile on Mike's face. 
Now, do you believe me? Mike wants some food now. He buys a hot dog on the street. But Carrie is thinking about a fortune teller. Wait, she says. A hot dog. Maybe that's the dog in the fortune teller's warning. Yes, but it isn't yellow, Mike says. Mike is looking at his sister, and he doesn't see the little boy near him. Be careful, the boy's mother says. But Mike walks into the boy, and a toy falls from the boy's hands. It hits the road and breaks. The boy looks down at the little parts of the toy. He is very unhappy. The boy's mother is angry. Toys are very expensive, she says to Mike. I'm sorry, Mike says. Here, please take this money for a new toy. But Carrie is looking at a boy's old toy. Look, Mike, she says. The toy is a little yellow dog. Mike's face is white. Now he is worried too. No, do you believe the fortune teller? Carrie asks. Maybe. Mike says quietly. He is walking quickly now. Where are we going? Carrie asks. Home, he says. He looks up. What are you looking for? Carrie asks. But she knows the answer. Her brother is worried. He is looking for a white bird. Suddenly, Mike hears a noise. He looks behind him. A woman is running after him. Excuse me, the woman calls. Yes, Mike says. My name's Sally. The woman says, I'm new here. The Black Cat Cafe is my cafe. She looks at Mike's shirt. I'm very sorry about that bucket of water. My friend is working at a cafe today. He isn't always very careful. That's okay, Mike says. It is hot today. Sally smiles at him. She has a beautiful, friendly smile. Mike thinks. Listen, he says. Maybe we can go out to a movie this evening. Okay. Yes, Sally says. Let's meet at a cafe. Sally is walking back to the cafe, but suddenly Carrie calls to her. Wait, Sally, she says. What's your family name? Sally looks back. Swan, she says. My name is Sally Swan. And then she goes into her cafe. Mike looks at Carrie and Carrie looks at Mike. That's bad, Carrie says. That's very bad. A swan is a bird, and it's usually white. It's part three of your warning from the fortune teller. You can't go to a movie with Sally. But Mike isn't worried. He's putting his hot dog down. He stands and waits. Carrie can't believe her eyes. What are you doing? She asks. Suddenly, she hears a noise. A big seagull flies down. It takes the hot dog and then it flies away. I don't understand, Carrie says. Now you have no food. Mike is smiling. That seagull is a white bird, he says. Now the fortune teller's warning is right, 
a black cat, a yellow dog, and a white bird. And now I can go to a movie with Sally. Carrie smiles too. That fortune teller is good, she says. Why? Mike asks. Look at this. This is from Rosie for me. It is a good day for you today. Your brother meets a good new friend. In the cards, I can see love for them. So this is the end of this story. I hope you enjoy it.